welcome to the Glazier Studio Tutorials. This tutorial will show you how to generate a bid recap on a project in Glazier Studio. From the main menu, if you select a project, then on the left under Reports, select Bid Recap. Select any frame that you want to include in the recap and click on Generate Reports. Enter any missing pricing for the recap. Pay attention to the unit of measure. If it's asking for an each, it is the total price for those parts. If it's asking for an area, it may be a length or a square foot price that it's requesting. If you make a mistake in pricing, you can change it at a later time in the recap. However, you will have to change for each line item for that product, you will have to change the price. On the right in the bid recap parameters, you can select different types of pricing such as CMP or standard. If you select standard, the stock multiplier and the fabricated multiplier will be applied across the board to all products. If you select CMP, it will use the CMP matrix to assign a discount multiplier based on each catalog section. The CMP matrix defaults can be set by going to Tools, Options, Set CMP Matrix. If they're set at that location, when you enter the bid recap, these CMP matrix numbers will be filled in automatically. You can also set your taxes and your markups under the set parameters to show defaults. When entering the numbers for taxes and markup, just enter the number, not the percent sign. Press the OK button to start generating the report. You'll see the optimization start on the bottom left hand corner, and then you will receive questions on the optimization. This particular stick is too long based on the standard stock lengths. We can split members into maximum stock lengths, split members into even pieces, or even edit the stock length. Optimal stock length will show you the best stock lengths to purchase for the best yields. When the review recap screen generates, you will see the total information on the far right hand side. This is a great way to check your project to see if you have the right amount of frames, the right amount of doors. On the left hand side is the recap totals. At the top are tabs showing you the different selections. Stock lengths show you the quantity of stock lengths, the price, the discount multiplier, and the total. These numbers can be changed by simply changing the quantity or changing the price. When something is changed, there will be a changed marker on the far right hand side showing you that it's been manually readjusted. Once changed, the recap total will automatically update with the new information. Frame hardware may round automatically to roller box quantities if that is the way you've set your parameters in the program. There is a blank line at the bottom of each tab that allows you to add additional items to the list that may have not been selected during the actual bidding process. The door and door hardware shows you all the door and door hardware accessories that have been selected. You can add additional items to these selections. The glazing tab shows all glass that's been associated with this project. If you've made a mistake and need to change pricing, you can do so at these screens. However, when you make a change to a price, it will not automatically update all the other items in the list that's similar. 
you must manually select each one and change their price. The program parameters for glass are set up by default for 3 square foot is the minimum. Therefore, any glass that's smaller than 3 square feet will ask for a unit or each price instead of a square foot price. On the vinyl and sealants tab, it lists the vinyl, the silicone, and the backer rods. The labor tab lists all the labor that's associated with the project. If you look in this list and do not see door labor, it means that you did not add the labor to the door before inserting the door. You can add it here by adding an additional line and then setting the hours that you're going to need for installing the door. You can add each individual line item. You can change any of the data on any of the tabs. For special charges, it's specifically items that are not part of the estimating process. For example, building a shop drawing, having to send out for shop drawings may cost you money. You can add this to the bid here and it will be added to the total. You can add brake metal. When you press the OK button, the reports are generated. Select the reports and click on the View menu to view all the reports. The bid recap summary that's listed will list the totals for the material, the tax, the markups, and the overall totals. At the bottom are tabs for each individual report. You can select reports to view them. The brake metal bid summary lists all brake metal items. The cut list bid summary lists all product that are cut and their cost for each stick that is cut. This is not the total price of the stock lengths, but the total price of the products used on the job. The door and door hardware bid summary lists all the doors and the door hardware selections that have been made. The drop list bid summary shows you all remaining product. If you were to add the drop list, the cut list, and scrap, you would total the stock length usage. The frame hardware bid summary is all hardware that is being used on the frames. The general elevation bid summary shows you all the elevations that were created, the quantities, the doors, the cuts. This is a great tool for verifying that you've got all the information you need for a project. If you know you have seven frames and you only see four total here, you're going to be short material. The glass size bid summary is the price for the actual glass that's used, not the block size. The block size bid summary for glass shows the cost for the block size of glass. This is what you are actually charged by the manufacturer for, for the glass. The labor bid summary breaks down all the labor that was applied to the job. The markup bid summary shows all the markups and the totals. The special charges or any special charges that you've added to the project. The stock length bid summary shows all the stock lengths that are being ordered. This is the material cost. This is what you have to purchase.
The tax bid summary shows you the amount of taxes you're collecting for this job. And finally, the vinyl and sealants bid summary shows you the vinyl and sealants. If you click the black X in the upper right hand corner, it will close the report view. Click it again to close the project management. Thank you for watching the Glazier Studio tutorials. For more information on our program, you can see some of our other tutorials on this website. Or contact the DeMichael Group at 480 985-4926 for assistance.